In this video, we're going to review some of the things you've learned this week and take a short little quiz. Now, you're not going to be graded on the quiz, but you definitely want to make sure that you know all the right answers. So, which of the following shows proper netiquette? If you thought B was the correct answer, you'd be correct. Do not yell by using all caps or multiple exclamation points. Which one of these shows better netiquette? A, I disagree on why the main character made that decision. Or B, that's a dumb idea. Did you even read? Hopefully you said A. Always treat others with kindness and respect. A, where are you even from, outer space? B, I haven't ever heard someone say that before. Of course, the answer is B. Humor and sarcasm do not come through in text. What you think is a joke might hurt someone's feelings. Okay, take a look at A and take a look at B. Hopefully you'll know that A is the correct answer. Write professionally and check your format. Be specific about what you need and who you are. The correct answer is B. Emojis are adorable, but they should not be used unless the teacher asks you to do so. The correct answer is B. Use the correct spelling and grammar. This will help you be clear in what you need. The answer is B. Teachers are collecting and grading assignments from over a hundred students. Make sure you are turning your work in correctly. The correct answer is B. You are expected to use your Harford County email address when communicating with the teacher. The correct answer is B. Be clear and specific when saving documents. You don't want to misplace your work and have to start over. Okay, the correct answer is B. We expect academic integrity. Teachers want to know your answers, not the internet's answers. The correct answer is A. Ask yourself, how am I sitting? Is there background noise like a vacuum or TV? Am I in an appropriate clothing? Are my surroundings appropriate? Netiquette guidelines. A copy of our team's netiquette guidelines will be sent to you and your parents' email addresses to review this evening. At this point, come on back to the teams and we'll continue.